So you probably have seen shots like this. To get this kind of style of picture, you're gonna need a macro lens, but they can be very expensive. And this is where these $30 macro tubes come into play. They only cost a fraction of the price, but promise similar results. So let's see if they really work. The way you use them is very simple. They kind of work like a mount adapter. So you're just gonna mount these macro tubes onto your camera body and then add whatever lens you want to shoot with. For me, that's my 50 mm f1.8. But you don't have to use both of them together. You can use each of them separately, but when you use both of them, you get the most out of them. Okay, so now I have both of the macro rings on and my 50 mm on here. So let's see how close the minimal focus distance and the macro capabilities are. Okay, so I think we can't really use manual focus here. This lens is notorious for having a bad focus and it's kind of also because I think the camera really doesn't know that these macro rings are here. So I'm just gonna put it into manual focus. Okay, so this close is the minimal focus distance with both rings on. Okay, so I took the small one off and I just have the 16 millimeter big ring on here now. Okay, so this is the minimal focus distance you get with only the big ring on here. So now as a comparison, I only have the 50 mil on here and no focus rings. Okay, wow, that's, that's a huge difference. That is a massive difference. I'm actually pretty surprised with this result. I actually didn't think that these things would work this well. Okay, so now that we know that these actually work pretty well, I'm gonna go put them back onto the camera and I'm gonna go around the house and take photos of like random stuff I can find. And you at home are gonna have like three or four seconds to guess what this thing is. So let's see how many you can get. Okay, so how many did you get? Comment that down below. I'm really curious to see if anyone got all five of these. Okay, so what are my thoughts on these macro rings? I gotta say, I'm actually pretty impressed. They do their job pretty well and they really do what they were supposed to do. The book quality is also pretty nice. I opted to go for the metallic ones, not for the plastic ones, because they're like only $2 cheaper. It's a no brainer for me to choose the metallic ones. Before buying these macro rings, I actually considered buying a dedicated macro lens. But now seeing how good they work and how convenient they are for me, I'm actually not gonna do that. Of course, the dedicated lens is gonna have a way better quality and way better ease of use. But for me, the price isn't worth it considering how often I'm gonna use them. They're probably gonna live in my camera bag from here on out because they're pretty compact and, and for car interior shots, they can be pretty useful. But if you really want to get into macro photography, maybe buy them and test out if it's really something you wanna do and then go ahead and buy the dedicated lens. But for casual users like me, just get the macro rings and then you're gonna be fine. So would I recommend them? Definitely. But it all depends on if you're really gonna use them. If you're just gonna buy them and use them once or twice to just test them out and just throw them in a drawer afterwards, then it's not worth it. But if you're gonna use them here and there, then they are pretty awesome. Also watch this video to get more information about the lens I used today.